everyone, this is Lola and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to conjugate regular RE verbs in the past tense, that is le passé composé, using the auxiliary of the verb avoir. Le passé composé has three parts to it, so let's take a look at each one. The first one is the subject. The second part is the auxiliary. And the third part is the past participle. Let's look at each one specifically. When we talk about the subject, we're talking about the words in red. Je, tu, il, elle, on, qui. Nous, vous, il, and elle. And of course, you can have nouns like people's names or things as well. The second part is the auxiliary. And it looks like it's the verb avoir in the present tense and it actually is so everything in the middle uh, sorry in red a a and a avant ave and all in red those are all the auxiliaries that's what you use to create the passé composé and finally the third part is the past participle so to write the past participle you simply take any regular re verb which uses the avoir auxiliary the majority of RE verbs in French use the avoir auxiliary. Let's use the verb répondre, for example. So we're going to drop the RE at the end, and we're going to replace it with a U. So répondre becomes répondu. Put all these three parts together, and that's it. Our subject, our auxiliary, and our past participle. J'ai répondu. All those three things and with something else to finish the sentence would be in the past tense. Let's look at, let's look at this in detail. So we have j'ai répondu like we just did. And that means I answered. Tu as répondu. You answered. Il a répondu. He answered. Elle a répondu. She answered. On a répondu. One answered. And qui a répondu? Who answered? Nous avons répondu. We answered. Vous avez répondu. You answered. Ils ont répondu. They answered. And elles ont répondu. They answered. Now let's take a look at other types of verbs that are regular RE verbs. And you could do the same thing here. You drop the RE and you would add a U. So let's look at, take a look at a couple of them. We have attendre to wait for, perdre to lose, entendre to hear or understand, fondre to melt, prendre to give back or return, vendre to sell, étendre to stretch, dépendre to depend on, détendre to relax, and confondre to confuse. When we change them, they become attendu, perdu, entendu, fondu, rendu, vendu, étendu, dépendu, détendu, and confondu. So all those ones that were RE changed to you, and now they are your past participle. So looking at attendu, that was the first one we had on the list, and then we'll look at perdu. So here it is, attendu. J'ai attendu, tu as attendu, il a attendu, elle a attendu, on a attendu, qui a attendu. Nous avons attendu, vous avez attendu, ils ont attendu, elles ont attendu. And now we'll go to the next one, which is the verb perdre to lose. J'ai perdu, tu as perdu, il a perdu, elle a perdu, on a perdu, qui a perdu? Nous avons perdu, vous avez perdu, ils ont perdu, elles ont perdu. Now let's take a look at the negative. To make a sentence negative, we need to add the ne and the pas. So let's go through this slowly so that we understand it. We'll look at the singular one to start off with. So what we'd already learned so far is j'ai répondu, which means I answered or I responded. So j'ai répondu. 
to make it negative, we need the ne and the pas. In French, you have to put the ne before the auxiliary, ai, and the pas after the auxiliary, ai. So here's an example. The n apostrophe goes before the ai, and it's an apostrophe because a starts with the vowel, a, a starts with the vowel, the letter a. If you look back here, it's all again, it was J apostrophe, and that needs to change to J-E. So, je n'ai, and then, je n'ai pas répondu. So, the ne and pas surround your auxiliary. I did not answer. Tu n'as pas répondu. You did not answer. Il n'a pas répondu. He did not answer. Elle n'a pas répondu. She did not answer. On n'a pas répondu. One did not answer. Qui n'a pas répondu? Who did not answer? And on the plural side, nous n'avons pas répondu. We did not answer. Vous n'avez pas répondu. You did not answer. Ils n'ont pas répondu. They did not answer. And elles n'ont pas répondu. They did not answer. Moving on to inversion form, interrogative. And we can see all those question marks. And that's because you can now create a question with those three parts that I uh, just taught you. So going on with the singular, let's try that. So we know that j'ai répondu just means I answered. So we're going to do a little switch here. That's why that arrow is under the J. We're going to switch the subject and the auxiliary. So it looks like this, et je répondu, which becomes, did I answer? As-tu répondu? A-t-il répondu? A-t-elle répondu and a-t-on répondu. If you notice with those three, I've added the letter T in between the auxiliary and the subject because they are both because they both start with vowels. That's just a rule that you have to kind of follow. And finally, qui a répondu is already a question, so we can't do a flip on that one. Going on to the plural side. Avons-nous répondu? Avez-vous répondu? Ont-ils répondu? And ont-elles répondu? Of course, the English is always there for you so you can understand what it's saying. Moving on to the inversion form again, but in the negative or negative interrogative. Let's start off with the singular again. So we know that the interrogative alone is et je répondu. Now we have to make it negative. So where does that ne go and where does the pa go? Well, here it is. The N apostrophe goes before your auxiliary. And again, it's an, ap an apostrophe and not ne because E starts with the letter A. It's a vowel. And the PA, we're usually used to it going after the auxiliary, but here it goes after the subject. So it becomes N'ai-je pas répondu? N'as-tu pas répondu? N'a-t-il pas répondu? N'a-t-elle pas répondu? N'a-t-on pas répondu? N'avons-nous pas répondu? N'avez-vous pas répondu? N'ont-ils pas répondu? And n'ont-elles pas répondu? I hope that this video was really helpful to you. Thanks for watching, guys.